Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Benizia Malki of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my, my thoughts with the words, prison praise. Prison praise. You remember the story of, of, of Joseph when he was jailed in the, in, the, in the dungeons of Pharaoh? You remember very well when um, the, the, the captain of the, of the, of the guard or the, or the chief prisoner, the captain of the prison, the one who, who looks after the prison. I mean, uh, the, the captain then entrusts Joseph with, with the prisoners. And this is, a, this is like a, 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 a high net worth prison, or, or let me call it a, a white collar prison, because the butler was there and then the baker was there, and Joseph was placed among them. And now guess what happens? Now the captain trusted Joseph so much that he gave him charge over the king's butler and over the king's baker. Now that is something very, very interesting. But even that doesn't even really, really uh, knock me out. Like the fact that when he was in the prison, th th there was praise. They were speaking well of him. That people trusted him even in the prison and they were... And they were they were speaking well of him, that was praise. And that means to speak well of somebody. They were speaking well of Joseph whilst he was in prison. Now, no, no, wait, wait a minute. You, you should understand that he was under very dire straits. Where he was wasn't where he wanted to be. What was going on was not what was... Uh, his, his, he had not done anything wrong to deserve that. And somebody like that would be very bitter and probably very hostile. But Joseph had an attitude, and that attitude was, you know what, I'm going to make the best out of, of a bad situation, and I'm going to earn the, the, the praise of people. I'm going to conduct myself in such a way that I can be trusted. That was Joseph. In the prison, in, in a very difficult situation, in an adversarial situation, in an adverse situation, he began to prove himself and began to make himself someone that people speak well about. You know, sometimes difficulties can make us twisted. Difficulties twist us up. Difficulties make us twisted. Difficulties begin to do things to us. You know, they, they, they distort our character. They twist our mentality. And, and we become something else. And many of us are not even able to keep our composure in difficult times. That was what Joseph did. And people began to speak well of him. Even in prison. Don't allow difficulties to... To, to distort your character. Don't allow difficulties to twist you up. You must be able to face and handle adversity with a lot of fortitude. You need to do that. Don't allow adversity to turn you into a, a different person, a very bitter, arrogant, whatever person. Don't allow adversity to do that. And in due course, you'll be very surprised. The kind of composure and the kind of character traits you exhibit in the midst of adversity, will win, will win the recommendation of other people. And people will begin to recommend you because they know you in trying times. Well, the choices are always yours. See you later.